What's going on everybody? It's time for another motor vlog. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I was out uh, riding my bike in the parking lot. Um, I told you guys the story previously, but I went out and I was practicing in a parking lot that I didn't know I was unfamiliar with. I dropped my bike because it was loose gravel and uh, I lost friction in the front wheel, low-sided. And my bike did a whole lot of dragging and stuff. But there was a unforeseen piece of damage that I hadn't realized was a problem when it happened. And as Murphy would have it, it's kind of taken a couple of weeks for it to show itself. Today, I'm actually riding without my slip-on. Why? Well, that's because my exhaust actually took some damage and the rivets are no longer holding the slip-on in place. And I'm worried that it falls off while I'm riding on the highway or something. So I'm on my way to go and get some pop rivets which are the right size for my exhaust but I didn't want to ride with the exhaust being questionable so I took the slip-on off the only problem with it is, is it's goddamn loud can barely hear myself think on the plus side my bike sounds friggin nice oh it sounds friggin nice I'm just gonna get some fuel here quickly. So, Bona Baba? Ja, Pillan John? Ja, call this way, please. Yeah, Yeah, that's great. Thanks, my brother. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so we're on the bike and we're off to go buy some pop rivets. Probably won't have a very long video, but yeah, it's some good fun. Man, oh man, oh man, I actually haven't ridden my bike out on the roads on a Saturday in such a long time. That's a lie. It's been like two weeks. Two weeks feels like forever, man. Especially when you just love riding and you spend your Saturdays editing videos. Whee. Oh man, that exhaust note is so nice. But it's loud. Holy shit, it is loud. You know, I was sitting and thinking about it, you know, I consume a little bit of content from people like Shade Tree Surgeon and Her Two Wheels and stuff like that. And my word, man, they can talk and talk and talk a whole lot of garbled stuff. And I think to myself, how do these people, like, just come up with the random, random stuff to say and all this mumbo jumbo that they're talking about all the time? It's like non stop rambling and talking and whatever the case may be and then I realized it's actually really simple I just got to do the same thing talk about them for starters and then just talk about whatever I'm seeing or whatever I'm thinking about or whatever and man oh man I'm just oh I'm just happy to be out on the bike again I love it I love getting out on the bike it's so much fun and I love sharing it with you guys but I hate red lights I really hate red lights the remote vloggers worst nightmare Oh, sounds so sweet. Feels faster too. It really does. I really don't want to draw unnecessary attention to myself though because I gotta drive back this way. You look motorbike! Oh, I love it. <laughs> delivery guy on a little 150 CBR thinking he's a proper street Rossi. <laughs> I love it. These delivery guys are like my favorite kind of motorcyclist out here. They get a ride every single day, all the time. They get paid to ride. You guys might think, hey, I'm on YouTube. You're getting paid to ride. No, I'm not. Not yet monetized because nobody's subscribing to the channel. So if you want to support me, if you want to help me get monetized and support this channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Ah, oh, that 
That's why we do it, man, because we get smiles. Smiles. Smiles per mile, man. Smiles per miles. That is absolutely the biggest thing that I love when I'm on the bike is I just want to spread happiness to everybody when I'm out here, you know? Just freaking sit out here, come up to a car at a red light, make people smile, give them something to laugh and talk and shout about, get them excited, get me excited. Oh, I love it, man. I love it. I just, I want to spread happiness to the world. Scanning pays off, yo. Oh, y'all are, y'all are towing. <sighs> Did you just kill that a little? It's fucking obnoxiously loud, man. Yeah, man, I just, I want to spread happiness, man. Get through the traffic, get past the people, and then be like, hey, yo, what's up? Hey, check this guy. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I'll make it a point to always thank somebody that moves out of my way when I'm on the bike because they really don't have to. The only downside of having so many people being so bike conscious out in the Western Cape, man, you begin to expect them to move out of the way for you and you actually start to get a tiny little bit impatient when they don't, which is not necessarily a good thing. But I always try, man. I, like, if a guy is going to move out of my way, just go out of the way, raise a hand, tilt a head, say thank you. Chaos Causes actually did a really good video about, I think it was five ways to say thank you on a motorcycle or five different ways motorcycles move their head, ah, something like that, which I thought was really entertaining, is really funny. You should actually go check out his channel. He is a super awesome YouTuber. And no, I don't have any affiliation to him. In fact, he copycatted one of my videos and made it better. But it's all good, you know. I'm, I'm all for YouTuber growth. The creative economy is what we're living for, man. I just want to see people out there doing the things that they love and actually earning a living from their passion, man. Get out there, do things you love, build things you like, ride motorcycles, go surfboarding. I don't care. Just do what you love and get paid for it. Yeah, my turn is somewhere up here. I just don't know quite where it is. That is freaking epic. They've got like these old massive machine cogs mounted on their wall as a piece of art, which is really cool. Oh, man, it sounds sweet. So I think I think I want a, a Kropovich now. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I'm happy with my ART. Whew, she's idling high. Maybe I should just turn that down a little. Trying to watch my speed. Who's the... The coppers love the stretch of road here. I actually think I pissed one of them off the other day. I was riding like a little bit of ahead of the traffic and I think I was hovering just over the, the safe limit of 10 k's over. I saw the camera and I kind of waved at it thinking I was under the speed limit and when I realized actually you're not and I looked up the cop was sitting at the window glaring at me for waving at the camera. I kind of just looked at him and went, what, what must I do, bro? I was going over and, you know, front license plates, we don't have those on motorcycles. I'm sorry, but... But yeah, man, I don't mean to piss cops off or piss people off by riding fast, man. I just... I kind of stay above the flow of traffic for my own safety. Because I need to know what's going on with the traffic at all times. And I don't like risking people sneaking up behind me. So I'd rather be a little bit ahead than uh, rear-ended. Especially seeing as these cages like to drive around on their cell phones. And I know I'm guilty of it too. When I'm in the cage, that distraction is a mofo. Let's see, do we have a green light? Yeah, we do. fucking loud. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop F-bombing. Oh man, I friggin' love it. I love riding motorcycles. 
I love that loud pipe though. <laughs> it's actually fun. Can't do it all the time though. I couldn't I couldn't ride to Joburg like this. Oh, traffic light. Vroom vroom. <laughs> the best part of this is how it crackles. Oh my god, it's so nice. I don't like this position. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And this is why we do things like slow races, because I still haven't put my foot down. This whole time I've been moving and I haven't put my foot down. Okay, people. My impatience has taken over. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not flying past y'all. I'm just cruising. Thank you. Nope. Thank you. Ain't no one gonna say shit. Ain't no one gonna say shit. <sighs> Let's do this. Two thousand years later. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so I got me some pop rivets. And I'm making my way back to the homestead. Such a beautiful day! The twisties are yelling at me, man. Oh, the twisties are yelling at me. Screaming! Ride me! Ride me! I know all of y'all are out here, you're watching me, and you're hopefully here for the entertainment factor. Or to make fun of me, whatever, I don't really care. But man, I want to know, if you're out there on the motorcycle, what is it about riding that makes riding so appealing to you. Would you choose motorcycling over a car like I would? Oh, I would much rather be on two wheels than in a cage. Ugh, I hate the cage. Really hate the cage. Man, like I just, I love getting out on the bike and riding and feeling the control and the freedom and the adrenaline rush. Motorcycle satisfies my need for speed. And I tell you what, hey, as much as I'm like, I tell you, don't go out there and buy a massive bike if you're a beginner. You know, it, it is doable. Look at me. I got into a 1200 as my first motorcycle. The Beast was indeed my first motorcycle, man. And as much as, as the people of the internet, as much as I would caution you to say, listen, bro, rather start small and upgrade because the power is much more manageable. At the end of the day, you got to make the decision if you have an opportunity to buy a motorcycle that you 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 want to get you really like it and it's going for a good deal then then go ahead and go for it man just remember you got to be responsible with your decisions let's go let's go i don't know why this guy's hanging back i'm going to give it a couple more seconds and then 
I'm gonna pause. Maybe he's escorting that chickie in her polo. I mean, it's possible. I used to escort my fiance around in her car when she first started driving. So. What's that? Who's there? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a fella on his toe. If it holler, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Twisties it is. Twisties it is. Thank you very much. All the cop cars are out today. I'm just going to Stienbrus. I ain't gonna do the whole route. Yeah, I gotta love Cape Town, hey? Or at least Gordon's Bay. Somebody here is a friggin' genius or a friggin' sadist. One of the two, man. They've painted this uh, bollard to look like a speed camera. And you know what? It's probably one of the residents here because the oaks come flying over these hills. The problem with it is eventually everybody's just gonna be like, oh, it's a fake camera. And they're not gonna slow down and then it's just going to absolutely defeat the object. The other flip side of it is Oaks are going to be like, oh, it's just a fake camera, and then the cops can put a real camera there and get nailed anyway, so whatever. People drive like ass. There's another one over there. Ah, oh, you got, you sucker. You sucker! It's a fake camera, bro. It's not even real, it's a freaking CD. But they were talking about, these people are talking about the camera. Oh man, that was so worth it, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me and watch me run some stupid errands to try and fix my exhaust. If you guys stay tuned for a later video, I will actually put together the exhaust. So stay tuned for that.
Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. My name is Matt and I make motorcycle related content for you guys to enjoy. I'd really appreciate your guys' support if you go check out my Patreon links in the description below. And that just sort of helps me get this channel on the run, keeps me doing what I love doing. And like I said, it's the creative economy, yo, so support it. I'd really appreciate it. It goes a long way. Uh, as long as you had a couple of laughs. I also have a free to download exercise manual for parking lot practices on my Patreon. So I've put a link in the description below, which I think is pretty epic. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you. Don't look down. Look ahead. And until next time, ride safe.